So this research, uh, which was done at the University of Wisconsin and at Erasmus University in the Netherlands, was aimed at determining whether the H5N1 avian influenza virus could be made to transmit from human to human. So it wasn't known whether that virus could be made to be transmitted between humans directly. And so these two laboratories used an animal model, a well-established animal model, which is the ferret, to see if they could make the virus transmissible from ferret to ferret, and then presumably that would apply to humans, and they were able to do that. The NSABB is a federal advisory board, so we are an independent advisory board that was set up to advise the government on exactly these kinds of issues, so legitimate research that might be able to be misused to cause harm. We thought the best thing to do would be, for now at least, to stop not release the details, except to those who really need to know, public health authorities, legitimate scientists who do want to be able to follow up on this research, until the public health catches up so that we'd be able to deal with a pandemic, and then let the details out. Better to be cautious now and let the details out later, whereas if you let it out now, you can't pull it back if there's a problem. And so that was our rationale at the end of the day for making our recommendation. This particular incident is an eye-opener to the scientific community that we really need to be more engaged with the public because of uh, the special responsibility that we have as scientists.